So why are we doing this, Joseph? <laughs> why are we doing this, Nate? Because <laughs> we've lost our minds? Um, probably. Probably so. Um, because we are two people that like hearing our own voices recorded back to us? I, I, I think so. That's we just want to hear ourselves what talk. Is. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, for me, and I, it's interesting because... You know, here I'm sitting across the table, you know, and, and I love the fact that Nate's able to say, you're able, you're able to say, hey, I've not been in church for a year and a half, right? And you're saying that with a peace inside of yourself and, and with the Lord. And I'm sitting here as a pastor. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I love the fact that we can have this conversation and not feel awkward, weird about the topics right. or the things that are going to be said. And so, cause it could be awkward, weird for both of us, the other direction. Yeah, absolutely. It could. And, and yeah. Yeah. And, and so, but it's hard for me to even think about because we're so like, we are okay with what is happening right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening yeah, right what now? Is happening right and now. so, yeah. So when I think about the podcast, you know, so I've been serving in full-time vocational ministry for the last 20, I think I'm in 22 years now. And, um, so for, for for me working full time on staff at a ministry or at a church, I have found myself engaging and talking with just more and more people, both inside the church and outside the church, to be honest, who are, I feel like they fall into a few different categories and it's like, they're seeking or they're skeptical, seeking God, or they're skeptical, um, maybe of God and His very existence, uh, or maybe just of the church. And and then I do think there's a good bit of people who are just disillusioned with church, and maybe not even God, but just the. You mentioned it earlier, just the kind of the institutional church, mm-hmm. and so when I been a part of these conversations with individuals that whether they're seeking, they're they're skeptical, they're they're disillusioned, or or maybe they fall into our category. But when I've been just talking with individuals, what I've found is a a common thread Mm -hmm. that they have not felt comfortable saying what they're skeptical about or disillusioned about with a leader from the ch- from a church. Mm-hmm. In other words, like right, it's it's one thing to say it to your friends. It's right. one thing to say it on a podcast. Right. It's one thing to say it online or, you know, right. you're interacting with people on social media and this is just mm-hmm. you're kind of venting or you're saying what you're going to say. But I I've found that so many of them so many people just don't feel comfortable mm-hmm. talking to someone who's in leadership in a ministry or a church. And just saying, hey, here's what I think. Here's what I feel. What do you have to say in response? Mm-hmm. And I think that's a large reason of why I want to do this podcast. 